hey everyone, it's Brittany from by Brittany Goldwyn and today we are doing a DIY post. So this is another plant DIY crossover, an easy DIY for folks who might not consider themselves to be super duper handy but who like to create nice beautiful homes for their plants. So I'm going to be teaching you the proper ways and techniques for painting terracotta pots. Terracotta pots are super cheap, super easy to find, they have built-in drainage, they're awesome. And you can paint them and customize them in pretty much any way that you want. I've painted a ton of different terracotta pots using a couple different methods, so I'll go over a couple of those, I'll show you some techniques and tips I use to paint my terracotta pots, and hopefully it will inspire you to go out and pick up some pots and paint to paint some beautiful new homes for your plants. Okay, so let's focus on painting terracotta pots for indoor use first. I really like to use any kind of acrylic craft paint for this. I really like DecoArt brand craft paint, but there are tons of other craft paints you can use out there. All of these examples, I use different kinds of DecoArt acrylic craft paints to paint them. And it's important to remember that since terracotta is by nature a very porous material, the reason why it's porous and it's so great for plants is that um, it helps maintain moisture levels inside of the soil by absorbing or releasing moisture from the clay. Um, so I like to seal the pots using an aerosol Thompson's water seal spray. I find it does a really, really good job. So keep in mind that when you do seal and paint your pots, you'll be giving up some of that moisture retention. Um, so if you have a plant that does really, really well in um, an unfinished terracotta pot because it helps with that moisture regulation, then I would recommend not painting those pots. So for plants that are really low maintenance, which is the vast majority of common house plants, painting your pots is totally fine. It's no different than having a ceramic pot that you have finished or a glaze on that you would plant your plants in. So as you can see, after the aerosol spray dries and the paints are ready to pot, I just put some gloves on, squirt a little acrylic paint out, and use really any kind of brush to brush it on in a circular motion. I like to hold it on the lip of the pot and paint around the base first, just in like a circular motion around the pot, and then work my way all the way up, and then set the pot down onto a paper towel and just use the brush to brush in that area, that small little area that I was holding with my finger. I like painting around the pot like this because it gives it a really nice glazed look especially when you use a satin finish paint and then I just do the same thing with the matching drainage saucer after I'm done doing around the inside I will just dip the brush down into the inside of the pot to paint around so that you won't see the terracotta color um, above the soil line when you plant your plants one thing to note too is that if you do use an acrylic paint that has a built-in sealer you don't necessarily need to use the water seal I've had paint companies tell me this honestly I still use the water seal just because terracotta is so porous and if you don't you risk moisture getting underneath the paint um, which will lead to bubbling and chipping in the paint and then you'll just have to sand it and redo it because it doesn't look very pretty Typically most craft paints are going to require two coats, especially lighter or very dark colors over the terracotta color. Um, I like to do that too, just because it gives it a nice uniform finish. And don't worry about too much on the inside like you see here on this white pot, just because you'll be filling that up with dirt anyway and it will be covering it all up. There's no need to waste any paint on um, painting down all the way into the inside. And spray paint's also my go-to choice for painting terracotta pots for outdoor use since it's so strong against the elements and it holds up really, really well. All right guys, so that is an overview of how I paint my terracotta pots to make them look nice and pretty and unique. If you want more details on painting terracotta pots or planters or painting in general, you can check out my blog linked below. I have a post all about painting terracotta pots and also a ton of other plant and DIY content. If that's your thing, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this and you wanna see more things like it, definitely going to be doing more content that has an intersection with plants and DIY. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video.